Hello, my name is Espen Tipple, and I've just had a fantastic online race with most of the elements of dicing for position, both done correctly and some done slightly incorrectly, so I thought I'd share them with you. First off, in the start, you want to make sure that you're s you've got a good seating position and you're comfortable and you're ready and you're going to go straight. You're going to go straight off from the start and you're not going to rush. And that's the importance of going straight. That Ferrari in the mirror is wobbling there. Now you see those cars, they it might seem like they're pulling away, but don't worry, it's the first lap. They're all bunched up together, and within a couple of seconds, you'll have got right back up to them, as you can see here. <coughs> you still don't want to be rushing, you still just want to be assessing the situation and sort of figuring out who's who, and who's where, and what's what. And I personally never like rushing into this corner here, because it's extremely dangerous and as you can see I'm still right up close to them. So just concentrate on getting a good exit out of this corner here, or trying at least, and then continue assessing the situation and seeing alright I've got Brabham ahead of me, the Ferrari that was behind me has overtaken me and up in front there there's a Lotus. Still fairly close so you don't want to be making any rash decisions like that guy in the Ferrari there, he's spun off. Make sure you give him enough room. And again, trying to get a good exit out of the next corner here. And as you can see, we're right, still right up close to the Brabham. Might have messed up that corner a little bit there, but as you can see, the Ferrari just overtook the Lotus, which means that they'll have slowed down a bit. Which means I can get a run on this Brabham coming out of the corner here. And now's the time to try mounting an attack. Just try to see, try to get alongside him. I'm not far enough alongside, and I never like overtaking in the loop anyway, but it's worth hassling him, just getting him up in his mirrors for a bit. I messed up the exit to this corner a little bit here, so I lost the tow. But don't worry, uh, this is still early days in the race, and lots can happen. Now, two laps later here, it still looks like I'm. Um, quite far back, but uh, as I said, lots can happen. As you can see up ahead there, the Lotus is sort of, it's getting a good run of that Ferrari there, so that means he's going to most likely try and move, and as you can see they're side by side up ahead there, so that means they're going to be dicing for position into this next corner here, which again means they're going to be slowing down because you go much slower when you're battling for position. As you can see there, I'm closing right up against not only the Lotus and Ferrari but also the Brabham. Another thing, uh, you, you need to know the sort of drivers you're up against because a Lotus driver on the grass, as most Grand Prix Legends drivers will know, is a dangerous combination so give him a plenty of room as you pass him on the grass there. Don't take any chances. Now that that was behind us, you need to concentrate forwards again, trying to get good exits out of your corners and just generally trying to drive quickly, because that's the only thing that's going to win you a race. And a crash. Now you see that Brabham got a slightly bad entry, but then I got a slightly bad exit. But don't get discouraged, because I think about a lap later, yeah, a lap later, I'm still fairly close, entering the braking zone. This time I'm sort of prepared for what's, what might happen. And that Ferrari up ahead, we're closing in. He gets sort of blocked by the Ferrari, so I'm getting a good exit. I'm going <laughs> to do everything I can to get as much speed out of the corner as possible. And as you can see, I'm in the toe. I've caught his slipstream, so now's the time to mount an attack up the inside. Now don't brake too late, that is the worst thing you can do, and whatever you do, don't run wide, do everything you can to keep on the inside, even if it means you don't make complete the pass, it's better to try a pass and not make it still keep going than crash, obviously. <coughs> and don't, in a corner like this, where you just lift off, lift off a bit early, because, again, you do not want to be running into the back of your opponent, because that just ruins everybody's day, and it's no fun for anybody. So don't worry, you didn't make it past this time, 
but uh, later on that lap you might get another another opportunity. And if you take a quick look at your mirrors here, you'll see that the Lotus is catching me. Now, I've been taking quite a wide line into this final corner here, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. I don't want to invite him to do anything, anything rash. I don't want him to do any stupid moves that might put me out of the race. And now, eyes forward. You don't want to be racing in your mirrors. You just want to be glancing every now and then at your mirrors, because up ahead, you know, anything might happen. Like that Ferrari, he's had a little spin, so I'm going to slow down a little bit, make sure I stay on the inside. Again, I don't want to be drifting into him. I don't want to be crashing into him. Just a quick glance there to make sure he's not there. And we've completed a pass. Well done. Now, he's very close. And it looks like he's got a good exit. I mean, I can see him. He's very close to my mirrors now. So I'm going to move over to the left, to the right. Because I know that he's... He's actually faster than me. I mean, it helps to admit it. <laughs> And as I said before, if you're battling for position, you're not going to be going as fast as if you're two cars in a tow. And as you can see, that Brabham, you see how far he's already pulled out. So I'm going to try and, with the help of this Ferrari ahead of me, I'm going to try and catch him. As you can see later that lap, we are a bit closer. And now you can see that wide line I was taking into the final corner I was talking about earlier. Unfortunately now I have closed in quite a bit to this Ferrari and um, I'm sort of feeling like he's holding me up. So, and since I'm this close now, coming out of this, uh, these S's, I'm going to try a little move going into the loop. I'm going to break my own rules and I'm going to try for an overtaking move into the loop. I'm nicely alongside and I'm breaking early, which is important because as you can see he cut across. Now that is the reason why I don't like doing moves in the loop, because it's just too dangerous. We got lucky there. Now the Lotus is behind me, so I'm going to pull out to make sure he can't get past any of us. Because I don't trust him. And then I'm going to, for fun, try for another move down the inside here. Remembering to break early, stay on the inside. Don't want to be crashing into anyone. Now the Lotus is right behind me, so I'm going to take the inside line here. He's not getting past on the inside. I don't trust a Lotus with the inside line. In much the same way as I wouldn't trust my worst enemy with an inside line. Like I, I, If you know who's behind you, and you don't think you can trust that person with the inside line, because you think he or she might drift into you, then do whatever you can to get the inside line for any braking zones. For example, here in the loop. I definitely don't trust him with the inside for the loop. So if he gets past me on the outside here, fine. It's better than getting crashed out of the race. As it happens, he didn't manage to get past, and that Ferrari's just gone off. Now, this one's tricky, because there's a left-hander followed by a right-hand braking zone, so I'm going to give him a tiny bit of room on the left. If he goes for it, which he will, because he's a stupid Lotus driver, he goes for it. Fair play to him. And I'm going to just take a peek up the inside, get into his mirrors and hassle him a little bit, see if he gets stressed out. Unfortunately not, and it looks like he's just going to be pulling away, but wait, he's uh, <laughs> he's all over the shop now, so I'm going to try to get another good exit here, and bam, I'm spinning. This will happen <coughs> every now and again. You will spin off and you will have a crash, but again, like I said before, you must not get discouraged. You must continue driving. Because anything can happen. Even later in the race. Here we are two laps later. And the Lotus has had a spin. So now I've gained a position by simply just rejoining and continuing to drive. And now three laps later, here we are at the finish. I hope you enjoyed this video and I... Uh, I hope you learned something, either learned something or recognized the different elements to dice into your position. And uh, may your battles be safe and fun in the future.